So what really makes you feel that way? I mean, if you're doing the best that you can do in your life and you're on the path that you're on and you have others who are in their own means of operation collaborating against that success, what is it that that you're doing wrong? That's what I don't get. Welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 73. This is Dr. Darina Shine, and today is October 27th, 2023. Phenomenal time. Energy is fluid, is all I have to say. <laughs> Energy is fluid, and it, it is going, I, I'm just an observer on the journey. And uh, welcome to the podcast. This is a pre-recorded podcast. This is a link to one of my client uh, conversations that I wanted to share with the podcast today because I feel it is vitally important. And uh, for confidentiality purposes, some information has been deleted. So <clears throat> constant success must Constant success. That's what we were talking about, being continuously successful. So I'll say this. Whosoever desires constant success has to change their conduct with the times. And these profound words was created by philosopher Nicola Machiavelli. Let that resonate deeply within you because do you want to be a constant success? Do you constantly want to walk in the path of righteousness? Do you constantly want to take that journey to be more, do more, to have more? Because it's very easy. It's very easy to do that. However, because others are not, it's going to create an everlasting shine on your life because everyone's not doing it. You know, many people want to skim to get by. They want to manipulate to get by. They want to just do the bare minimum and then others have no idea what's happening. So it's okay. It's all right. Whatever you want to do, you have the ability to do that. (sighs) Being able to adapt and evolve and change through circumstances and how they come at you and being calm in the situation and not taking things personal in the situation. You know, you may have people willing to participate in your life and because you're not doing it their way, they get agitated, they get affected because there's things that they're doing in their lives that need to be done and changed. And so they have to change with the times. So we have to change with the time to be consistently successful. And remember, it is a process. It is a journey. It is a walk that everyone's not walking. So you're probably going to be doing it alone with, or with a few people. And the relationships of self-worth, it has to be found within yourself, within the makings of your character. So, you know, and learning how to stay calm in situations where people are trying to push your buttons, that is the easiest thing to do as well because you know the path you're on, not what others try to divert or distract into your walk to get you to look or the bling or the the bells or the whistles or all that bling stuff. <laughs> Nine times out of ten are not even it's not even real, you see? So you have to learn, and I have to learn, that I have to pick and choose what beautiful thing I choose to look at at the time. 
because many things can be distractions, right? Consistent success, that's the topic today. What about the people who are doing their ultimate best? Entrepreneurs shining brightly, walking their journey, and then up comes adversity. Up comes the chaotic distractions of individuals around just because they feel they have the power to bully and do whatever they do. Well, I say to you, karma is real. Time is of the essence. And people receive immediate, immediate results. It's not something that takes a long time to see someone, you know, get what they deserve due to their punishments or jealousies or envies or narcissistic behavior. So we have to know what our value is. And when you know what your value is, it becomes easier. It becomes much easier. Yes. So this journey that you're taking on continuous success is going to validate who your friends really are. It's going to tell why people are coming in your lives. It's going to show you how people are leaving your lives. And this is the eclipse time. This is the time where you got real close friends that are going to eventually break up. People are going to you know, lose jobs. People are going to step out on new careers. And it's all because it's that time. It's that energy. And nothing lasts always. Oh, yeah. So you better, yes, That is good. You you know, uh, as we're talking, um, I just clipped out the concept of valuing who you are. If you don't hold value in your journey and you let people know who you are and you set a boundary. See, again, if you have a fence and someone destroys that fence, you have the reality that the fence has been broken. So a boundary has been crossed. Now you can see, especially if you have a camera or whatever, you'll be able to see who um, broke the fence. And then you can decide what the consequence is going to be. Are you going to fix the fence? Are you going to pay me um, for breaking the fence? Are you going to, you know, uh, compensate me in another way? for what you have destroyed. It's different when the boundaries are subliminal. So valuing yourself is the most important wisdom, universal wisdom that anyone can actually have. And then also, when you value, when you value yourself, you're okay with anything that can be lost. Because we understand in this creative time and this manifesting time, it is only a remnant of what we've desired that has come into our lives that we need to get through in order to find it a success and then we move on. So if we're constantly embracing the brand new vehicle we have, it's going to depreciate value as soon as we pay for it, right? And then if we value our clothes, the fad is going to change and the clothes are going to become outdated. If we value our hairstyles, our locks, and then as we grow older, we recognize the weight of the locks are, you know, really, really taking the roots of the hair out, it's going to be devastating um, if we don't keep it up because as it grows it's gonna hang and it's gonna become you know harder to you know it's gonna the weight the weight of it is going to (laughs) diminish that style so there's a lot of things that we have to be mindful of 
when we're valuing ourselves, when we're consistently looking at our successful practice, and then turn around and realize that I've worked hard for this, I can't lose it. That's the time that we say to ourselves, and this is the catch, this is the key to consistent success as far as I'm concerned. I'm willing to lose it all to start over again. There's nothing that can be taken. Why? Because manifestations happen every day. So if we're constantly being a success, when you don't move into other areas and move with the times and flow with the dimensions of change, you're going to be left behind. And people are going to be able to tap into what you value the most and try to take it from you. So I want you to hold on to that, to that theory. I'm going to listen to this myself again just to reiterate and to understand what it is that's happening. Um, and don't worry about it. Be so consistent with the reality that things will change that, guess what, you will be unmovable. You're going to expect the change to occur that way. You know, I had a relationship and when I was young, and this guy was a few years older than me. And one thing that C.A. would always tell me is I expect the unexpected. That way, when it comes, it doesn't hurt as bad. I never understood what he meant until I began to see the relationships and people that are not even a part of my journey, that are not, they're just onlookers. They're side, they're, they're sideline sitters. But these people try to influence and impact the journey in which I am walking until so much so that I have to recognize them. <laughs> I observe them, I recognize them, but they're still not part of my journey. I know who they are. I know what they came to do. And I value my principles enough to stay separate, but equal, but equal. So, so basically what I'm saying here is there are things that are, are, are being created based on movement, momentum, um, and I'm so grateful to social media and online presence because as I have people working for me in all different areas of uh, existence online, it's primarily important to be able to say that I can get up today and move to a whole nother state and be an entirely different person in the field of consistent success that I am walking right now and be fruitful and be fruitful, you know? So that's what I want you to understand too. I want you to be very, very clear, shining entrepreneurs, those who are listening to me right now, those who even have that edge of, I'm going to be that distractor. We're going to have those people in the bushes. So just know that they're there, except that they're there. See them as just shadows in the night. Be not afraid, but know that they exist. If a cat walks in the middle of the street and it's a full moon, you're going to see a shadow. So when we recognize that we have this ability to not worry about what comes and what goes, we have the ability to even get greater than what we had at a speed faster than what we had because that is the power of manifestation. So continue to remember these things. Um, and, and, you know, I, I want to use examples so bad, but right now this is not the time. I will use those in another week or two. And then realize that life is a mystery. So you're going to have people come in, keep that mystery alive, keep it, keep it positive. You know, there was a incident that happened when we were, I'd say 24, 25, and uh, I'd say about maybe 20 years ago it happened. And um, well, like 15, 
And it was still amazing, this little cat, he showed up at our door and we had never fed him, never seen him, you know, he just showed up. Now I see why he showed up, number one. Number two, I recognize that emotion takes a lot of energy to collaborate with what's really going on in the discernment of who we are, as well as the initiative to deal with our reality with what is going on. So I I get it now. I understand it. And I always was curious about it. But I definitely know what took place there. And, um, but to make a long story short, we called this cat mystery. And from the day he walked into our lives until the day he left, he was a consistent mystery. So I thank all (laughs) positive beings for protecting, being part of that process, and actually acclimating the mystery in our lives because we have to do that to be consistently successful. We have to see what is going on and it has to be a discernment that just makes sense. And that includes people we meet, why we go through the chaos that we go through with them, the etching of next level rise up entrepreneurs is the key to that and being calm is the lock. And I'm I'm learning that. Thank you so much, Mr. and Mrs. JC. You know who you are. I'm so grateful that you've taken the initiative to reinvent what has been a part of your lives. You too have gone through some highs and lows, but through it all, we we provide that seed of hope. Just that one seed of hope. And that seed provides, if a person is ready and willing, the opportunity to have serenity, to have peace, to have joy, to have love, to have abundance, to have, you know, creativity, to have manifestation. And the next thing you know, life is beautiful. So hold on to that, you know, hold on to that because life is a mystery. And for those who can't deal with, um, the concepts of what takes place. If I have something to do, I'm going to always put myself first. I'm going to say no. I'm going to I'm going to say no in a nice way firstly. And then afterwards, I'm going to say no. So giving and taking is a part of the reciprocity of relationship. And I'm learning more and more that I can say no and I don't have to totter back and forth with it. If I say no, it's no until you have a reason to tell me otherwise or I have a reason to rebut because everything has an appeal. Everything is an appeal process. And if something does not work, it is not functioning in your life, you have a right to say no. And just because you say no and someone raises their voice in narcissistic practice does not mean that you have the ability to have to deal with it. So what you do is tell them, hey, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Because as long as I'm not hurting anyone and I am flowing through my level of success and, you know, you know, it kills me. It it just makes me. No, it doesn't kill me. I take that back. <laughs> it, 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 it behooves me to understand why if you're running an establishment, how someone can tell, come in and tell you how to run your establishment. If you're doing what you need to do, you've done. And, and I'm saying it's all because of money. It's all because of the, oh, what is that, tariff tax. It's all because of the, the tariff. You know, you want to walk over this bridge, you have to pay to walk over this bridge. But it's not even their bridge. (laughs) It's not even their bridge. It's just, it's phenomenal 
And, and, yes, what I say is it kills them to have to show up, to show out, to be a thorn in the side of someone who is doing their job. If they really had a job, if they had really had the employment in which they cared about and they were passionate about, maybe they would be focused on helping a community do more than just be comfortable. Stepping on people's toes because of change is the biggest thing that prevents success. But to have constant success, you know, there are going to be times if you're in the right and you're on your land and you're in your vicinity, you're going to have to do that to stay with the times and what it is you're doing. So I say to you today, as I leave you, remember to value yourself Remember that that constant success is going to be high and low. Remember that it doesn't matter what you lose because something better is going to be replaced. And then finally, giving and taking is a reciprocity. And if you're always giving, someone's taking advantage. If you're always taking, you're taking advantage. So try to balance that, you know, And I hope this helped you. I hope you like, comment, share, and subscribe to this podcast if you're new. And we will have Chronicles of a Nonprofit, which is a, our mission is to share the journeys of the highs and lows of really being in business, the real deal, the real deal. And I'm not talking about having to spend millions of dollars to, you know, buy into your investment and, you know, having to do this, that, and whatever, because you really don't need all that. It's not about um, having, you know, it's about knowing the laws and working within those remnants of the law. If there is no law and someone's constantly trying to break the law to find out anything about you, then that's stalking, okay? And, and, and if there is nothing on the books for the the new consistent success that you're trying to pre- prevail at, then always appeal. You always appeal. And you stay in the lane of right. And you will never be wrong. <laughs> You'll never be wrong. Even though people will try to obsess over how they can make you look as though you're incompetent. They may even try to, you know, sabotage in other ways, but nothing will work because you already know. And as long, see, you know, the person who is walking the path of constant success will always know what the other side, the ops, what the ops are doing before they do it. Because it's just, especially if little trinkets of information is being sent. That's why if you know the path you're on, you know the people that surround you, you pay attention, you do your checks, you have your camera settings, you have your affiliations, you have people watching people, watching people, watch people. You will always be in the right. You will always be there. And it's crazy that we have to layer our lives like that as entrepreneurs. Because anything and everything that can happen when you're trying to be a success, when you're trying to give hope, when you're trying to give peace and tranquility to a world that other people feel these people don't deserve, that's when you see the devil in the details, and you still can continue to work around it through loopholes and dipping and dabbing opposite ways. Go the opposite way. And that's what I'm learning today. And this is what it's all about. October 27th, 2023 will always be historically remembered as the day I valued myself, the day that I realized that consistent success is a practice and a process. And it's nothing that someone can give you. It's a passion. It's a desire. 
so you stay strong, be consistent, be on time, and be the best you you can be in the shoes you're in today. Because you're rocking this. Peace.